Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my review on A Justified Bitch by H.G. McKinnon. Now I was given this book by Nat Galley at first as just an e as an e-arc but then I also ended up getting an actual physical copy from the publishers themselves which is Embrick's Embrick Embrick's books. Look, I'll put it on the screen. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I, I got it. <laughs> I got the physical copy from them. This came out August 8th. I just finished reading this last week, I believe. And I already put a review up on my blog and on Goodreads and also on that galley. And now I'm just doing my video review. So this is going to be the first book in the series called The Las Vegas Mysteries. I don't know if it's going to be like a series or a trilogy or how many books it's going to be. But this is the first book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It's an adult murder mystery. And I really loved it. So I mean, but wait, if you don't usually read adult novels, it's okay. Just listen to my review because I think you will really enjoy this. Even if you usually just read all YA or you're not really good with reading adult books. This is a really good one, trust me, like you would love it just as much as you would love a YA murder mystery, even better. So just, just listen to my review and hear what I have to say about it, it's spoiler free, so I'm not going to spoil anything, you'll really, really enjoy this book. So just a little bit about this book, in this Las Vegas murder mystery, you follow this woman named Helen who sees dead people. I see dead people. No, so, the bitch really has problems. Boy, that escalated quickly. Her husband died years ago and she still carries him around on her back everywhere she go, like a backpack. And one day a finger is found on her porch and she's immediately the first suspect in her neighbor's murder. But just as quickly as Helen is cleared from being a suspect, another murder happens, placing her right back at the top of the suspect list. During all of this time, her sister comes to Las Vegas to try to help everything along because Helen has these mental problems and she is a hoarder, her house is a mess, and it's almost like she can't take care of herself. So her sister comes to try to clean everything up and get everything straight, but she comes with her two sons, which there's drama in that, all by himself. And you have to read the book to find out because it's really, 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 really juicy. Mm -hmm. And so we're pretty much trying to figure out who's the murderer and will Helen clear her name or if she can clear her name. First of all, I just want to say I just knew I knew who the murderer was in this book. Like I just knew I was and the joke was on me, but I wasn't too far off from who it was. So it's not really that predictable on a predictability scale. I mean, some people may see it, but some people not just because when you actually find out who it is, it's like, damn, I should have known that that's who it was. Like, you should have known it. But it's like, they kind of, it's like, the author kind of puts it in your mind, but, it, but then she puts it out of your mind. Like, nope, nope. But then it comes back. So it's like, you feel like, damn, I should have known. So you get that dumb feeling like, I should have known this who the fuck it was. But it's, it's really great. I really, really, really like the drama inside of drama dynamic this book took because it was always something pulling for my attention so I didn't get the chance to get bored with solving this mystery because I had so much other drama to focus on as well. But it wasn't overwhelming drama to us. Like, okay, that's way too much. This is too dramatic. This is too much stuff going on at the same time. It wasn't. It was, like, perfect. So besides the actual murder we had where we're supposed to figure out who the murder is, there is quite a bit of family going on with family drama going on within this little family that we are following it so much so it's like Ow. it's really like pulling for you you know so just because there's so much family drama going on you really get a chance to learn about the characters and find out who these characters are it's not just thrown in your face this is the name and here we go it's like you get kind of a background you get to know them like it's like you just meet this person and you get to as the story goes on we get to figure this pick this person out and get to fill them out and figure out okay i think they're talking about they're that type of person i think hd mechanics did a great job of getting of putting her characters in roles and keeping them playing their own roles because sometimes in a lot of books you see a lot of characters they're supposed to be playing this role, but then they don't know their role and they start jumping into this net character's thing and start doing this one's thing, you know. They do their own thing. They do what they're supposed to do. They play their own roles really well, and I really enjoy it. But while we're on the character theme, speaking of characters, the only problem that I really had with this book is that I didn't really feel connected with the characters. Even though you do get to meet these characters and you get to know all about them, I didn't feel connected in a way to where it's like something was missing to make me want to sympathize with them. I just, I lacked sympathy with these characters 
I didn't really feel for them. I guess you just thought I wasn't really emotionally connected with these characters. I don't know what it was that just made me feel like, okay, I'm not, I'm not with these characters, but it was something that made me feel that way. I also really, really, really love the gruesome details of this book, and I don't know if that's something that's wrong with me or what, but the gruesome descriptions of these true murder scenes really, really blew my freaking mind. Like, I'm just like, I was all for it, and it was so good, y'all. Like, it was to the point where reading it, I was like really wincing. It was like closing my eyes, like, oh, you know, like I was actually looking at it like this was things that I was actually seeing. Like, I was literally seeing it, and it was just so amazing. So, the description was good. Like, it, it, it really took me to that point. So, just because of the, the gruesome descriptions of these murder scenes, I think it's going to make it really good for Halloween because it's not a spooky read so if you're not down with the spookiness a good murder mystery also great for Halloween the second murder scene really made me feel like I was in the movies because it took on this criminal minds role you know how when you watch criminal minds it's like you see this murder you don't see the murder of face but you see them doing the act you see them sneaking in and committing this murder but you don't see their face so it's like we're following the murderer during this murder and it's like oh my god and it's like you get to see what the characters experience <laughs> really 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 like <laughs> really involved during that second murder scene like it was just it took a hold of me I, like I said I swear reading this reading this whole book it was like watching the episode of Criminal Minds just the only thing you missing was Jay y'all know Spencer or Matthew your real name oh my god it was missing you that's all it was missing like I said before, I think this is a really good murder mystery for those, this is a really good murder mystery in general, but it's really good for those that are, those YA addicts that are just stuck on YA, and I know I hear a lot of YA readers say they don't do good with reading adult genres, new adult, adult, they really stick with the YA genre, so I think this is a really good book to really break that barrier down, because it's so good and it's so involved, it has so much drama and it has so much elements to it that make you want to stay involved, because I understand what people say when they like, you know, they don't really, they're not into the adult genre, which I see myself as an eclectic reader, because I read just about, I read a little bit of everything from every genre I don't see myself as hooked on one on, on just one division of reading so this is really good for those YA addicts because like I said it gets you involved so if y'all are looking to test the waters with adult I think this is a good way to test the adult genre the cover I don't think the cover of this book does this book justice the cover doesn't do it justice I mean I under I guess I can see why we get the chain link fence because there was a chain link fence around Helen's house but um, it could, the, the, it, it makes no, it's not a big purpose to put it on the cover, so I, the cover doesn't, don't judge this book by the cover, because the cover doesn't do justice, hopefully they change the cover, hopefully, but the cover doesn't do it, and, I mean, the title doesn't really do justice either, I mean, I understand why it's called Justified Bitch, and I really like it, because you don't see too many books named like that, but it's just a lot going on. But you know, it's fine. Let's keep the title because with the title, I kind of feel like a rebel with this title of the book. So, you know, let's do it. Now, I'm not quite sure how the rest of this series is supposed to work out because, you know, we saw this murder here. I don't know if it's going to follow the detectives solving different murders or how this series is going to work out. But whatever, I'm down for it. I'm strapping my seatbelt. I'm in for the ride. I'm ready for book two. I'm ready to take this for a ride and hopefully I get another arc when book two comes out from the publisher company because I enjoyed this book and I'm just so so excited to take this and run with it and get other people to read it because it, it, this was really great okay it wasn't too many things that stood out to me that's why I got a four out of five stars it wasn't too many things that stood out that was bad about the book just like what I said about not feeling emotionally connected with the characters and the cover but other than that this book was really amazing y'all should really go and try this book out it came out August 8th so it is in stores go on Amazon or whatever and find the book I'm gonna link the Goodreads um, description the Goodreads link to this book in the description box and I'm also gonna link the the my blog review that I did in the description below as well so thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye